Hello! Welcome to Meta Moon. I am Emily, and this channel exists to create resources, discussions, and support for this weird experience that we call being alive. Let's talk about creative blocks. So today we're going to take a closer look at the poetry film I put out last week. If you haven't seen that yet, you can check that out now and then come back to this discussion after you've watched it. I'm going to start by explaining some of the story behind the poem and why I wrote it, and then I'm going to give you some information from people a lot smarter than me, starting with some spiritual masters and then the scientific masters, because I think we need both of those perspectives to fully understand something. And last, I'm going to give you a challenge to do, and I want to hear from you about how it goes. I don't want to just be talking at you all the time in these videos. I want this to be a discussion. So tell me about what you're excited about, what you're struggling with, what you think about all these things. So I'll give you a way to do that later on in this video. So now, let's go ahead and talk about creative blocks. So this piece came to me after a long creative dry spell where I just was putting a lot of pressure on myself to create something amazing but I wasn't really getting any inspiration and I didn't know why. I was just hustling and totally caught up in that LA grind. Everything was very mechanical and to-do lists and I was completely stressed out and not able to create anything worthwhile. And then one day I decided to just slow down and meditate. This piece just came to me just fully downloaded start to finish and I grabbed a piece of paper and I wrote it down as quickly as I could as I heard this voice just kind of saying this poem to me and that was the poem I didn't ever really edit it or change it much it just came to me in full I realized that day that I had been going about my creativity completely wrong and that this idea of sort of a muse that people talked about might be more true than I thought so that's how this piece came to be. Author Liz Gilbert has a popular TED talk in which she describes creative ideas as sort of spiritual entities that go around looking for a host to create them and bring them to life. And so as an artist, all you have to do is open yourself up to these and be the vessel for them to come into existence. She also talks about the word genius and how it was originally used to describe something that you had rather than something that you are. An artist was known to have a genius that sort of gave them this inspiration. And once we started calling people geniuses instead of having a genius, that's where we got all these problems like depression and anxiety and creative blocks because our fragile human egos can't take the pressure of being called a genius. So if we went back to just opening ourselves up and having a genius, it would take the pressure off and we wouldn't experience the creative blocks. She talks more about this in her book, Big Magic, if you want to learn more. Cognitive neuroscientist Heather Berlin from the Icon School of Medicine says that we get into a creative flow state when there is a decrease in activity in the prefrontal cortex. This is the part of the brain that is responsible for making sure that we act like a normal human being should. This is also where our inner critic voice comes in. So scientifically, how do we fix a creative block? We have to get out of our heads and into our bodies. She says that we can do this by being in nature, moving our bodies, going on a walk, doing anything that gets us out of that prefrontal cortex area of our brain. So my challenge to you, get out in nature. If you're experiencing some sort of creative block or just not having the inspiration you wish you had, go out in nature, find somewhere that's quiet and away from all the hustle of life and just listen slow down and see what comes to you. If you take me up on this challenge, then you can tell me about it by using the hashtag MyMetaMission on social media, and I would love to check it out and see how that went for you. You can also tell me your thoughts in the comments below. So that is all for today. I will see you guys next week, and until then, remember that you are loved, 
you are safe and you have everything you need within you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please send it to somebody you want to show some love. And if you want to continue exploring life with me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That little click helps me more than you know. See you next week.